Hey, do you guys rent dump trailers? You do? Okay, cool. How much are they? What? No, that's that's a little out of my price range here. I'll I'll try somewhere else. Thanks. All right, bye. How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. I gotta rent a dump trailer. I'm not paying those enormous prices, right? But I've got to, I've got to ace up my sleeve, so to speak, right? I'm gonna call in the Trump card and try to get this dump trailer to rent. See how cheap I can get it for. Hey, anytime during the video you see a tractor, or a tool, or an implement, or a T-shirt that you like, look in the links in the description below. They have discount codes for them. Everything's available in the description below. All right, you guys, let's let's try to find us a dump trailer cheap. How about the Hamiltonville Farm Master Mechanic coming through for me in the clutch, huh? How about you? Hey, hey. <laughs> Look at this, huh? Yeah, old Brandle's got a 16-foot Lamar hydraulic dump trailer. Look, he's, he's already got garbage in it. Maybe he wants me to drop that off for him as well. So, Hey, you going to let me borrow this? Yeah, that's... But it's part of the rental fee, though, that you have to take some of my trash. Yeah, I saw. That's what I was just talking about walking yeah. around. Say, he's already got stuff in it. Uh, so, how much are you going to charge me to rent this uh, lovely dump trailer here? You know, I mean, I, I think we can work something out. Like I say, <laughs> part of the fee is here. Okay. All and right. then there obviously has to be some yeah. monetary compensation. There has to be. I know you're an old retired guy, <laughs> right? So, I, you know, I know yeah. that it's hard living. So, you know, we'll just have to, you know, have to have to call it the county tax and we'll say a dollar right. like okay i could do a dollar i think so i've only got three three big stumps to put in it so we'll put we'll dump it in here and then we will take it and dump it into the back side of the woods now in the back 40 as they say sounds good to me okay let's go ahead and get started then if you guys remember from a previous video we chopped down <laughs> chopped we chopped. <laughs> we sawed. Hey, we, we, we Rick flared it, right? We Rick flared it. <laughs> Woo! We fell this tree is what I'm really trying to say. And this is what we got left. So we're just going to take that and we're going to dump it into the woods because it's in the way. I'll take Brutus. I'll get him move out of the way. Of course, we'll use the Homestead Implements Grapple. This is the Pinnacle Series. Again, the discount code's in the description. Hank 5 for 5%, US Vet 10 for 10% off. And we will pick these bad mamma jammas up and we will uh, get it taken up, taken away. already got that thing nasty, didn't you? No, you're good. So Brandle now is going to position the truck so we can haul those logs over here. Those suckers are heavy. get him here so he don't hit this stump. <laughs> Had been another coat of paint on there, you'd hit that. Yeah, but you got you got it just just enough. All right, let's go to work on the homestead grapple.
mean, those were awkward. Yeah, they're they were weird, ain't they? About that grapple, though. Yeah, shoot ya. Uh -huh. Especially on that last one. Had it, had it just a little bite on it, but man, it kept it. Shoot ya. Now I just hope this dump trailer dumps them. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> do, I need to take, do I need to follow you with the tractor? Maybe just in case. Okay, we'll follow you with the tractor then. Let me see if I can get this on camera right quick. You hear what sounds like a chopper? Yeah. That's called harmonic balancing. This is a pipeline, and what's happening is those waves of natural gas are going and hitting the pipes, and that's what you're hearing. Really? Yeah, sounds like a chopper or a helicopter of some sort. Pretty cool, huh? All right, this is what I've cleared for you there, Mr. Brandle. So however you want it, this is all, you can drive up all in here. But this is what I got. Shove it back in there to the all the way back to that tree. Is that a stump right there? It is, but it's rotten. I think you'll be all right here. So, yeah, just pull right on back there, and we'll we'll dump it off there by that that oak tree. That sound all right? I mean, I can try it. You think you can back it up, or do I you mean, need me to do it? I probably need <laughs> like a legitimate like male presence to do it. So. <laughs> Oh Lord, but it's nice having that little dump pile right there. It is, yeah. Or, and I should say, it's nice to have an area to make a dump pile. Eventually we've got that mound of dirt and debris on top of the hill in the field back there at the house that we need to load up on his dump truck or dump bed and take it away. Look at that big old black snake. Ah, dang it, I just ain't fast enough as a black snake went in there. Nobody wants to see that. So I can go through, my plan is I'll go between these two markers here. Okay. I'll go through those two markers and come out and then head up that way. Ten four. Sound like winter? It does. Man, that branch and shore does look good in that field like that. That's I need to take some photos and stuff. <laughs> oh Lord. Got a lot of room out here. That's faux show. You only got that one white pole to hit. If you hit it, I'm gonna laugh at you. Clean my windows and <laughs> This is the part of the video where I laugh at Brandle for not being able to back his trailer. But in his defense, he's got dirty mirrors and the sun is hitting his mirrors. There you go. Whoo, that's sharp. That's too sharp. <laughs> you actually gonna clean your windows? Yeah, I'm actually gonna clean my windows. Yeah. Good figure. I told people in your defense, your windows were filthy. Look, this is the first time since Hurricane Michael that I've cleaned my window. <laughs> I wonder, is the hand sanitizer the best thing to use to I clean your window? I think I would have spit on them. <laughs> now look, come here. See? Oh, Old yeah. versus new. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I said in your defense. That's it. You know? And you're anyway, I couldn't, because I'm backing into the sun, I couldn't see anything. Other. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, we were talking the other day. We were riding together. I think we was going into town to do something. 
and his the, the sun hit the glass just right and i said brando you gotta clean this glass man it's it's dirty i don't see how you see out of them well i'm glad he's doing it now Just a little more. That's that's fine, Brandel. How does this contraption work? First of all, let me just say, it's amazing what clean mirrors will do <laughs> for backing. So, okay. pro tip: if you're if you're going back a trailer, yeah. make sure your mirrors are clean. Uh, yeah, that's and right. And not be irresponsible like me, and, and not and not clean your mirrors. Ever? For, for literally 23 months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so know, just dude. FYI. <laughs> so basically, so the way that it works, the control box is right here. It's nice because it's got a nice chain box and all that. I've got some chains and binders and stuff for whenever I haul the tractor. Got a couple froggy friends. There's one here. Oh, I see it now. Yeah. Uh, there's one here as well. So they've they've taken up a residence yeah. as well. So basically, this is the hydraulic control unit. Got a little battery here hydraulic pump, hydraulic reservoir, and then it's just electric over hydraulic with this like 20 foot cord. So what I do is I just pull the cord out, go ahead and close it down a little bit, and then it's magnetized so you can just leave oh, it Oh, that's here. cool. And then we gotta open up the tailgate, and then if we were, you know, if we were hauling it on the road, we've got the tarp, so it's a nice setup there. Man, it's a nice trailer, dude. I like it. I'm glad that I paid so much for it, and this is like the third time I've used it. Like, <laughs> I've seen it sitting in the yard, you know. I know, right? So, it's pretty cool because it's got little hooks that can hold the uh, hold the tailgate there. Hold little D-rings there. Yeah. Pretty cool that there's a tree there. <laughs> oh my goodness. We thought of everything, didn't we? I don't think it's going to... Oh. All right, just digging. All right. Look at you. You are a manly man. You had to redeem yourself. I weigh 483 pounds. So <laughs> leverage. Leverage. Yeah, leverage. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. All right. Yeah, I know. I need to make sure I can get behind me here. Starting to roll. Cool. Yeah, man, that was awesome. A little easier than unloading it with a tractor. That was cool, man. Hmm. I mean, I guess I'll get it out with it. This is, I'll take it just as high as it'll go. Yeah. You know. Sure. That's a big old hydraulic cylinder, my man. Yeah. What I really like about it is, you know, all the pivot points are greasable, all that stuff. It's got the little safety jack to be under here working on Oh, gotcha, yeah. You can see the ramps when it's up. You can see the ramps here. Oh, yeah. Are stored underneath. Yep. So, I mean. What size axles does it have on it? It's a uh, 7,000 pound axle. Okay, all right. Yeah, so. It's a pretty nice trailer. I mean, I I'd like say it. So. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. Right back in place. You can also, um, a really cool thing is you can get a a wireless remote. They offer a wireless remote kit. Oh, right on. From the factory that's like two or three hundred dollars, or you can get a, a winch kit, a winch remote for like thirty dollars, thirty or forty dollars from Harbor Freight. So you can just you know walk around it wirelessly. So oh yeah, I, I need to, want to look into that. So it's a neat setup for sure. 
The other thing is too, it's got shore power here so you can so you can charge it, make sure the battery's in good shape. You know, not just depending on your truck to charge it while you're towing it and stuff. Yeah. So if you use it a lot, you use it kind of all day, every day, it's not the truck's not going to keep up with it. Okay. So it's but I mean it's it's a good trailer. A couple other things I like about this Lamar is it's got this rigid rail system, so it's like a box channel. Okay. Here and then the floor. I think it's the thickest floor on the market. It's seven gauge, so it's like three sixteenths steel. So it's you know pretty thick, heavy floor too. Right on. Yeah, that makes it nice. Plus, you can use that to tie down stuff with if need be. Yeah, exactly. Also, like how that they've got these um, the stake pockets, so you can add um, you can add bed rails, or like I did, I put these other stake pocket tie downs in it. Yeah. So whenever I've got my tractor, I use these for like my rear implement and the front ones um, to tie the loader down. That's right. They thought of everything, didn't they? Man, that made quick work of it, didn't it? That was super easy. Got a mosquito riding the shotgun. Got you, got you a skeeter in there? All right, I'll meet you back at the house. Yeah, man, that's a nice truck. Did all we needed it to do right there. This right here is the tightest part of the whole ride into the woods for a tractor and trailer. We'll turn to the right. Just a lot of bumps and there's a stump in there and just gotta be real careful, but at least there's not no trees or anything like that he could hit. There he just went around that stump. So he went around that pretty easy. Yeah, that's the t that's the tightest spot right there. All right, Brandon, will you, t will you put it on my tab? I mean, yeah, it's it's pretty bad that we got to do an IOU on a dollar. <laughs> so you know. All right. I'll buy, I'll, I'll, Thanks, cheap. I know. I'll upsize your uh, your Happy Meal next time we go. Okay? There we go. That's what I'm talking. All right. About. Click here to subscribe. Click here to watch that Homestead Grapple do more stuff. It's amazing implements. Save five percent with Hank Five. If you're a veteran, US Vet Tim will get you ten percent off. Always free shipping in the lower 48 and Ontario, Canada. You guys take care. God bless.